Hello and welcome, Aaronite here. Today, we've got a little bit of a different video, maybe a new little series I might start. You guys will have to let me know what you think. We're calling it This Reset So Far. Basically, I just kind of want to talk about maybe a couple current event topics and then also um, maybe have quite a few engrams to open, Eververse engrams, dawning engrams in this case, bright engrams, whatever you want to call them, etched engrams. I um, thought it would be fun to do like an engram opening video and also just chat about a couple things and also tell you about what I've done this reset so far. Of course, I definitely want to know what you guys have been doing and your thoughts on anything that I talk about. Definitely want to know what you're doing in Destiny. Very interested. You have to let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel and find that you were entertained, be sure to subscribe. As always, thanks so much for all the support, guys. Let's jump in. Take a look here at my Titan. Decided to take the old helm off in the social spaces. Got my mohawk that I decided to go with many years ago now. What do you guys, how do you feel about your uh, the way your guardian looks? Anyways, just chilling here with my cool new exotic emote I got last reset. Um, I always just like to take a second to, I do like to just look around and see what's going on. Guardian's doing their thing. One thing about the dawning, I'm surprised Eva wasn't over, I guess it would be on the east wing. There's not much going on over there, especially with faction rallies gone. Everything seems to be over in the drifter area. It's where you go to get stuff. We need some love over there on the east wing. Anyways, yeah, you see how that emote does that? It's interesting. Some of those do that. I have with me today a maxed out inventory full of etched engrams and winter drift engrams from Eververse. And also, I think I have one sitting in here with a prime engram. Oh, two prime engram. Nope, just legendary. Let's see what that is. Oh, I can't do it. What am I talking about? You have to make room before you can do that. Anyways, before we get into that, I just wanted to chat about uh, the dawning a little bit. I, uh, I'm i pretty happy with it so far. We're a couple days in. Very interested to hear what you guys think. I think the mechanic of making the ingredients, while at first sounds a little cheesy, um, it's not really. It's fun. It's the dawning. Like, it's festive. It's the holidays. Like, let's do some cookie baking and have some fun see some snowballs back there i was talking to a dirt fan member we we were kind of bummed that the snowballs weren't out in the world um but it is cool you know we uh we go out do the thing in destiny like we always do every reset we get this new these new materials and we take those materials and we put them into our lovely little item here uh and we make things. Eva's Holiday Oven. I also love that you can masterwork this. I haven't yet. I've made several of these, but not all of them. I'm still working on it. Uh, it's it's Thursday into Friday as I'm recording this, but uh, you can masterwork it, and apparently it costs less to um, bake and make things, so that's cool. Um, but you know, I hope that uh, it's cool. We got a new heavy machine gun, um, the Avalanche, uh, I believe, but uh I hope there's maybe something secret that's going to happen, a little secret quest or maybe a random hidden exotic. I don't know about going that far, but it'd be cool if there was some secret stuff in the event uh, here in the coming weeks because, of course, it's going till the 1st of January. Um, but overall, I, I think it's cool. It's it's like I said with uh, Festival of the Lost. It's These live events just need to um, you know, accompany the game we already play. They need to just kind of go alongside it. If we want to do it, uh, cool. If we want to do other things, cool. What really works with the dawning here is you get the stuff, like I said, for going or while going out and doing what you're already doing in the game. So that's cool. Just adds another layer to the grind uh, and the fun we're already having. So anyways, overall, I'm enjoying it so far. We are just a couple days in. We'll see how it pans out. I might have some more thoughts on it, another video or something that I throw in to the mix uh, with some conclusions and thoughts on it as the uh, the event pans out. But very interested in what you guys think, what you're doing so far, how much fun you're having. Do you like the ingredient baking cooking mechanic um what do you think let me know definitely let me know so let's move on we've got some engrams to open i don't know really there's things that i want but i don't really know like 100 what they are i would love 
I think I'm thinking about getting this ship right here because I think it looks cool. It looks like the um, Solstice of Heroes ship, and I wasn't able to get that. I didn't actually have three characters leveled when we did that, so I wasn't able to get that item. So I might get that. I've got a facet here. Might as well drop that. I wouldn't mind having this sparrow. I got my emote last reset. Let's see if we can do it. Let's start with this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, nope. That's okay. I did kind of want this as well. I think these uh, ornaments on these weapons are beautiful. That went to my postmaster, of course. I got too much stuff going on in my inventory right now. I got to do another vault clean out, inventory clean out. Anyways, okay. We'll try for something next week. Maybe this will come up on sale. So anyways, moving on. Let's look at some of these winter drift things. I would like to have that emote. Um, I wouldn't mind having this ghost shell here too. I like the guiding light perk. I've only got one ghost shell that has that on it. Again, that ship. This one, I'm not super excited about. I don't really, this this ship model isn't my favorite. Um, but if I got it, I wouldn't be disappointed. Of course, there's a lot of other stuff in here, but let's just be surprised and see what we get. This is kind of cool here too. I like this shower of gifts. Um, I want to see what I get. What are you guys looking to get? What are you searching for? What do you hope you get in this event? And also, what are you looking to get out of the uh, etched engrams? We'll see. We'll see what I get here. Um, let's do it. Let's jump back in. Open all these bad boys. Number one. What are we gonna get? Ah, uh, the armor. Uh, the armor is okay. It's not my favorite, but uh, it's okay. I'll take it. Some of it looks cool. Some of it doesn't. I'm not too too fond of the whole set. It, that, not on the Winter Drift set right now. It's it's okay. Let's move on. Oh, I'll take that. Yes, please. Is that like the Ghost Rider Sparrow? I think so. I don't have this one, of course. Thank you, thank you. The Scorch, uh, or excuse me, the, uh, oh, what is the name uh, of that enemy? Totally blanking right now. Um, love it. Very cool, very cool. All right, moving on. Don't want to spend too too much time on each thing here. I get excited. Mm. Cosmo Jumper. Cosmo, really? Name a ship after yourself. It's not a Z, though. Let's see. Um, oh, that's the little, like, fly-looking one. You know what? We'll keep that. We'll keep that little guy. Moving on. All right. Oh, sweet! I definitely wanted that. High five from the uh, Eververse uh, Dawning loot pool. I will definitely take that. I think I might. I always like to have these emotes, a thank you and a salute. I don't know where I'm going to put that. I don't know. I'm super pumped to get that. I love these new uh, two-player emotes, duo emotes. Ooh, spinning, spinning. The thing about Legendary Sparrows is they're kind of like meh because it's 160 or bust. Um, so I don't know if I'll keep that. That's an interesting looking one. I don't know. We'll see. My vault's almost full, so I can't keep a whole lot of stuff. Or I got to get rid of some stuff. Next up, let's do it. Hmm. Let's take a look. I don't know about this one. Nope. That's the same model as that other ship. Not my favorite. Get some bright dust off this one. Go ahead and dismantle while recording. All right. Next up. Oops. I think I accidentally backed out of it. A few more left, guys. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? A ghost. It's going to go to the postmaster. I don't know about that. Might get some bright dust on that one. And next up, my ghost. Oh, the ghosts. Come on. Give me another exotic. Come on, exotic. Come on, come on, come on. That's an interesting looking ship. I think I remember seeing that one actually for, maybe not, maybe not for purchase. It's, it's the dawning. Oh, I've seen one like that. I don't think I want that. That doesn't look very appealing. All right. Bright dust on that one. Final one. Come on. Actually, it's not. I got some of the Postmaster. More armor. Ugh. Okay. I was hoping we'd get a few more exotics than that. Let's go in here and grab these other ones. See what we get here. I've got that grenade launcher. It's not powerful. Let's go see what we get on that as well. I'm still leveling up. I'm only like 615 power level right now. I'm trying to do all my powerful 
bounties and stuff. Let's see. Come on. Last one. Let's do it, guys. Exotic, exotic, exotic. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Wanted that ship. Now I'm saving 2,000 bright dust, so I'll save that for something else. Awesome. Very cool. Do you guys like this ship? The only thing about it is, is it's kind of got like a little snowflakey theme to it. Um, a little bit. But when you put a shader on it, I was trying to throw like a dark shader on it the other day. Like, for example, the um, Escalation Protocol shader. Did I pass it? Where'd it go? There it is. It looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. Man, I'm pumped I got that. That is definitely one thing that I wanted. Okay, let's go over here and grab this... Uh, priming gram here let me know what you guys are wanting out of the uh dawning stuff and or just the season five etched gram stuff very interested curious what you guys are wanting maybe i'm missing something in there i should be going for let's see what we get here no weapon no weapon and you give me a weapon i guess we'll roll right into reset that's okay um wait oh no it went to the i already have one I just got one a minute ago it went to the postmaster we'll roll right into reset here go over that just a little bit um I got two exotics this week. I got the black Talon, and I got the sixth Coyote for my hunter. It's an exotic chess piece where you gain a second dodge, um, so that's cool. I've still been working on my Wayfarer title. I'm actually two away. I went from 9 of 22 to 20 of 22. I only need... I got some stuff to clear out there. I only need the emblem from the Dreaming City, the Blind Well, and or Ascendant Challenges. I'm not 100% getting mixed uh, feedback on where I should do that. Mostly blind wells, what everybody's been telling me. And then I need one adventure on Nessus. I wasn't tracking this title when it was up, and uh, apparently I needed to do one more and didn't realize it. So I'm so close to Wayfair. I'm so pumped. I cannot wait to get a title. Are you guys chasing any titles? Let me know what you're chasing. Let me know what I should go for next. I am going for Unbroken. I'm 6 of 10 there, but that's going to take a couple... Uh, that's going to take a couple seasons probably to complete that one that one's got some crazy stuff in it anyways let me know what i should go for next what are you guys going for interested to hear um what else have i been doing this reset uh, i did complete the first forge i got my power level up enough to complete that um got some stuff for the exotic uh, quest that you get the key to to keep that going um, i am working on my power level to uh attempt to go fan and forge i want some of those weapons um the hand cannon um mm. And the sniper that you can get from these forges stuff looks good the perk rolls you can get on it are crazy um anyways i also got the uh the uh malfeasance boss to spawn in gambit i've been grinding gambit so i got that that was cool i've uh i uh been grinding at uh this here to get my breakneck i started that this week also been grinding for the loaded question and uh, I also, at some point, I'm going to jump back on my Hunter. I haven't even finished this quest yet for GoFan, and i got to finish that before I can even attempt it. Um, I've been grinding uh, Crucible on my Hunter. I've kind of been throwing that on the back burner a little bit because I want to get some of this other stuff done. Um, need to bake some more gifts so I can get this Sparrow. Anyways, guys, I've just been working on my power. I really want to get up to 650 as soon as I can. been working on grinding out these pinnacle weapons, doing the thing. There's just so much to do in Destiny right now. I've been working on my builds. I will tell you I'm having a blast playing Gambit right now because I'm running uh, Skullfort and um, uh, Code of the Missile. I have this on because I ran a strike earlier. You see, I got my fusion there. But anyways, Code of the Missile and uh, Insurmountable Skullfort, like you can... Uh, Man, you can do some back to back to back to back uh, melee slams, and it, it's so much fun. So much fun. You get health regen, you get your melee back immediately. Uh, it's a good time. It does make it a little hard to get your auto rifle kills uh, because you're just killing everybody with that slam, that little mini slam. But uh, it's 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 a blast. If you're a titan or have a titan, give it a shot. If you have those, uh, if you have that exotic helm, super fun. Anyways, guys. That's going to do it. If you enjoyed uh, this type of video, let me know. I wouldn't mind doing these more often. I'll just let the old engrams stack up, and we'll just talk kind of about our reset and what we've been doing. Um, be sure to comment below and let me know your thoughts on anything that we talked about. Uh, the Dawning, Eververse, Season 5, engrams, anything you're hunting, anything you're uh, doing in your reset, uh, what your thoughts are on any of it, your uh, what you've been doing. Um, what your experience has been like, um, just all that stuff, man. Just love chatting with you guys about Destiny and about uh, what you've been doing in the game. So, uh, of course, don't hesitate. 
to send any other topics my way. We were going to talk about PvP sandbox tuning this reset, but it, as you can imagine, it's a pretty, pretty decent sized topic. So I'm actually going to uh, keep working on that and push it out hopefully next week. Um, we'll see. I hope to get that up next Friday. But this reset, we're going to try something new. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, if you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated. And again, if you're new to the channel and find that you were entertained, uh, uh, be sure to subscribe. As always, guys, you can find all of my info below. Thanks so much for all the support. And until next time, take care.